Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys so much for all of the healing prayers that you sent out to me. I got through the surgery and I'm feeling great, you guys. So thank you, thank you so, so much. It's Sunday today and it is December 10th, 2023. Let's look at your tarot cards, Taurus. See what shows up here for you today. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know at the time they're viewing this video? Right now at the time they're viewing this video, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's connect. Let's get together. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Somebody pushed that out. The Hierophant. This is your energy, Taurus. The Hierophant. The very first card. All right? So you feel some type of commitment to something in your life with the Hierophant energy. This is a commitment that you're in. See what's going on. That's your very first card, so it's it's a very strong energy here, Taurus, that you're showing me already. And then you have the five of swords. And the eight of cups. not really sure what's going on here. It's almost like there's some type of a fight, a conflict going on with the Five of Swords. And um, you've got a pretty serious look on your face right here. Like you're not playing. And you're emotionally walking away from something. Does Taurus need to know? And then you have the Magician. Let's lay out all of these cards, Taurus, and then we'll go back and clarify everything. The center card of your reading is the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. And then you have the Five of Pentacles. And you have the Emperor, Aries energy, the Star, Aquarius energy, Judgment. And on the outside, looking in, you have the Ten of Cups. Your home, your family, your happiness. And I, I'm seeing a commitment that is connected to your home, your heart, the, your love, your family. All right, because your family is very important to you and um, the people in your life. And it's kind of like the overall message of this reading of what we're looking into, because you're showing me that you have this strong commitment to that. You're barefoot here, grounded, standing your ground. Tell me why the Hierophant is here. Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, Taurus, I just see, I'm seeing this commitment, and I have to keep repeating myself because it's a very, very strong energy of you feeling a commitment to your home, your family. And there's this six of pentacles showing up. So you're carrying fruit. You're carrying food. Um, these people in that you consider family, that are your hearts, that are your love, 
there's a lot of determination here that you're going to continue to give to them. It's it's something that you, that no one's going to take away from you. Okay, you're giving. You have this giving energy, and spirits are telling you eleven eleven. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. And again, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is home, family. You could be giving your money, your time, something in the material world of this place that you call home or your family. But you're keeping something to yourself. You have the Seven of Swords next. So while you're doing this, you're keeping something to yourself. And I feel like there's like this fight on the inside of Taurus. Like there's this something that it's almost like this isn't fair. It's like um but you're throwing down your swords and you're you're keeping this commitment to this family or this home where your emotions and your happiness are. But it's like, it, for some reason, Taurus, I don't know, place this how it belongs, but it's like, even though you're staying here and supporting this energy, it's like you're walking away. There's like a fight you can't win. But emotionally and whatever you're giving, you're still giving to it. But it's like this need for you to go off and and leave it or go almost like you need to go to work you need to get something done but you still need to take care of this it's your heart it's what you are committed to doing here tell me why the five of swords is here There's just so much going on in your energy, Taurus. You have the Eight of Wands to clarify whatever you're fighting for here. And it's almost like, look at your face. It's almost like I, like, um, I don't want to give up. I have to keep going, even though there's nothing that you can do to fix a particular situation. It's things just keep coming at you so, so fast. But you know, and you hold on to this Ace of Pentacles here. There's like something here that you're fighting for with the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. You're fighting and fighting and you're not giving up all right and this nine of wands is right next to this ace of pentacles this something in the material world that you can see right ahead of you you are the wounded warrior here you are not giving up even though it feels like there's so much coming at you that it's so hard to keep up and things are bottling up things are gathering up it's it's so strange because it's like you're not giving up here, but it's like physically you've got to walk away. Because there's something that you need to do that you need to manifest. It's like you're, you're taking yourself out of the picture in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. Maybe this will become more clear to me. Okay, so you have the, the world, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you in the High Priestess. Definitely something that you're keeping to yourself. The High Priestess is here. You are definitely keeping something hidden behind the veil because there's a fight inside of you and I feel like a fear like almost a fear of do these people do the family they don't see you know what's really going on what you know this fight this battle that you're going through 
but you're pushing back here with the seven of wands and then you, you have the world. All right. Um, like, like a rebirth. There's a new you busting out with the, with the world card here. There's a fight that you will win. There's a lot of determination in your energy here. And I don't see you giving up, Taurus. Even though no one else can see this battle that you're fighting, you're not, you're not going to give up. You're, you're the magician here. You know you can make it happen. And that's what I'm seeing you doing here. Your, your energy is showing me that you have all the tools. You have everything that you need um, in order to fight this battle. To like pull things together. Because things just, they just feel like they're all messed up right now, Taurus. But you're going into hermit mode. It's in the center of your reading. And this is whatever's happening here. There's like an inner battle happening. And it's coming from like your outside world. And so you're really going to be reflecting inward. And needing to back off of what's happening on the outside. Because it's like I feel like you don't have any control over it. Uh, at this point, all you can do is go into yourself and just kind of slow down. And I am picking up so much, so much energy of drive and determination in this reading. Why is the magician here? Death. Yeah, see, Taurus, you're going to do it. You have justice on the bottom of the deck. This is Libra energy. You're going to be walking free and you're going to get out of this. Because I keep feeling like there's a big mess. There's something here that needs to come to an end. And that's why you're manifesting. There's been too much. This is Scorpio energy, by the way. But there's been too much coming at you at once for too long. And it's so much that um, it's like it can finally come to an end here soon. And the sun is here and you're going to find great happiness. The sun is Leo energy and it is the happiest card in the tarot deck. There's a realization here. You know, there's a realization here. That there's something on the outside that you can't fix. You need to. You need to just fix you. And then you'll be able to see very, very clearly um, the project or whatever this energy is that's around you. Tell me why the hermit is here. I'm seeing you. It's like you feel like backing off, you know, from everything. There's someone here that you love. There's someone here where, you, where you're enjoying their company. There's love here with the Two of Cups on top of the Hermit. So there, there's someone here that you're connecting with. It's showing up in the center of your reading. But you have this energy here with the Four of Pentacles. Like you're not completely happy. And I don't think it's within this connection with this person. I feel like there's a bigger picture here where there's something here I that feels like it's difficult. It feels like it's heavy. It feels like it's something that you can't fix, but you can't let it down either. But right here, I feel like at times you find peace in this connection. Or this is someone that you're... That you're soon to meet because they're showing up here in your energy right now the next card you have is you have the five of pentacles 
So you could even feel left out in the cold, you know, um, because there's this need for you to go into hermit mode. I don't know, I kind of feel like you feel like someone's being selfish. But you're not saying anything because to say something would make the situation worse. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's something in your energy, Taurus, that's making you feel sad. With the Five of Pentacles. You may feel like you're leaving something or someone out in the cold or you can't give this home, this family as much attention as you want to because you're having to juggle here with the two of pentacles. How do you get done? How do you, how do you find peace? You have temperance here. How do you find a good, happy balance? This is Sagittarius energy. And this is what you're fighting an inner battle about with the five of wands. And then you have the emperor showing up next. So this is someone taking control. So I feel like um, here in the, this is your future energy. And you're showing me this strength with the emperor here. Like I, like I'm taking control and doing what I need to do. And you know, I just read something, I just read like this little um, thing and it said, um, I am taking the, I take the idea of, and I'm putting it into the wrong words, but to the effect of, I, I consider what other people think about me none of my business and that's where that's what I'm seeing happening to you here as you take control all right and you walk away with confidence in this emperor energy it's like I don't care what people think about me I am taking control because these people they don't really understand they don't get it they don't know what you're going through And so here, with the Emperor card, you have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and Strength. Leo energy with Strength, and the Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. This has to do with your stability. You have the King of Pentacles here, and you have the Two of Wands. Okay, there's something here that you can control. Um... But where do you, how do you take it to the next level? And that's where you're feeling like this two of wands energy. Like which direction should I go in? Okay. Is it worth the money to invest in something another way? But with your heart and what other people don't see is you're being strong. And it's because of love. The queen of cups is here. You're showing me the love. But the... Because there's there's something here that you just can't fix. You have the Two of Swords. All you can do is follow your heart and release this to the universe. You're dumping out these cups on the star card, and you're it's almost like Jesus take the wheel. Like something's really hard. So I'm seeing you really really getting to a point where you want to where everybody's happy which is going to make you happy tell me why the star is here the queen of swords and the wheel of fortune this is kind of like an energy right here the queen of swords on top of the star where you're releasing 
um, what you don't have any control of. Um, the energy here is telling me I forgot what I was going to say. Maybe it will come back to me. But I just, I had like this message coming into my head. But it's basically, there's, there's something here that you've been doing for a long time with the Wheel of Fortune. And your commitment to it, your wish fulfillment in your heart, your love is there. And within this energy... It's changing. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's not staying the same anymore. It's going to require a whole new way of thinking. A whole new outlook. Taurus, you are sending up this Wheel of Fortune. And I, I'm feeling like a great sadness here of something that, you're, that you feel like you're leaving behind, but you're really not. It's almost like you feel like there's this sense of abandonment and you're standing in judgment of yourself. Tell me why judgment is here. You're judging yourself very heavy, questioning your decisions. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Because of so many things. Look at all the cards that just fell out. It's like you feel like you're out of control. That's why I just dropped all of these cards. And it has to do with. You have the eight of pentacles. And you have the six of swords. You're having to put your work. Into something else. Because it's almost like the energy is splitting in two. Where you have to give both ways. Because you're not letting go of what you've got. Your heart is there. Your commitment is there. I can see it. But there's this energy of having to divide. And then this is all about your emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Your happiness. Happy home. Happy family. You're going to have it all, Taurus. You're going to have it all. It's just you don't see it yet. It's a complicated process. See, look, you're so worried about it and you're feeling stuck. The hanged man is here next to the eight of swords. You feel stuck. You feel like your hands are tied and you're constantly thinking about something here. And I feel like this something has to do with your, with the love of your home and your family and what you've put your work into. To keep everybody happy. But you have the chariot here. The chariot is like. This is cancer energy. But it's like stepping out of your comfort zone. You're ascending to a higher level. Alright. And so there's this need. Are you walking away with someone here? Because it's like someone is here with you. If this person's not with you yet, Taurus, because I'm getting um, someone here in hermit mode possibly, but there's someone here coming into your energy very soon if they're not here. And the last card you have is you have the Six of Wands, which is success, victory, crossing over the finish line. So this is, this is, I can see it's very difficult, whatever this is to you, whatever this energy is that is around you right now. But it's going to be very successful. You'll be walking out of it. And you're you're going to feel good. Because I feel like you're standing in judgment of yourself. and wondering if you're doing the right thing. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? See, the answers you need are coming, and this is full moon in Gemini. Advice for Taurus. And then you have, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. Do not let pride get in your way. 
It's okay to be vulnerable. And that's the energy that is the um the tarot is telling you right now is it's okay to be vulnerable to um because you will be very successful. But you need to put this guard down. All right, Taurus, I love you guys so, so much. Take care of you today, and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.